I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Imaginative Film Festival in downtown Toronto. I'm here with producer Jeremy Edwards. What sets the Imaginative Film Festival apart from other festivals for you? Well, it's one of the festivals that's really highlighting uh, a wonderful renaissance that we're experiencing in Aboriginal filmmaking. Now, you got to understand that Aboriginal people in Canada really have only recently, we're only seeing second and third generation of artists, of people, because there was such a resistance to Aboriginal culture uh, by the European settlers here that the um, part of the thing was uh, restricting people from being able to express themselves. The wonderful thing in Toronto is that you have people here from all over the world, right? And, and you get these cross-cultural mixes. We learn from each other's cultures. But one of the richest cultures we have to learn from is the Aboriginal culture that comes from this land. Because the people, the Aboriginal people that I know, understand the language of the land in a way that we don't. And that goes way, way back and way deep. So most recently, um, we've been creating and working with Aboriginal producers. Well, a lot of what my company does is deals with the administration and the management. So helping to put the financing together, develop and manage and put together the teams that make that make the project happen. Great, and you've worked on a few films now with Aboriginal peoples. Tell me a little bit about what was at the heart of those stories that really drew you to the projects. The first film we did, it wasn't actually a film, it was a television one hour documentary. So mostly we have been producing television shows. Not, it's a little bit different than a film. We have done films, but it's a bit different. The pacing, everything else. Um, the first one we did was called Kutusiku, and which is a Cree word of, meaning one who makes music. And it was the story of um, an elder named uh, Winston Whitney. And we did that for APTN and uh, Saskatchewan Network, which was at that time SCN. Uh, that was um, directed by Jim Compton, who was a friend of mine who had helped establish the Aboriginal People's Television Network. Uh, he was the first director of that network and worked for CBC North before. When I first arrived in Toronto 20 years ago, I came here as a performer. I wasn't a producer. I went back to school. I went to OCAD here. And I was in a class studying film and video with a, a, a young Aboriginal lady uh, named Cynthia Licker Sage. And her school project that year was to create an Aboriginal film festival. So I got to see this festival from the very moment it was born in that classroom that day. And, um, and Cynthia's become such a close friend. And when I found out, I met her two years ago, three years ago here at Imagine Native. And I said, Cynthia, what are you doing now? You know, and she said, well, I'm actually managing a dance theater company called Kahawi, uh, featuring the work of Santi Smith. And I said, wow, that sounds fantastic. We should do a television show about that. And I love dance. I, I'm a musician too, so I've always worked with dancers. I love the, the union of those two things as an art form. And uh, it took three years to finance, and we, we did, and we got a wonderful director, Shane Belcourt, who actually sits on the board of Imaginata, but he's an amazing director. We assembled a, a terrific team, and we were able to shoot Santi with uh, doing her dances, choreographed in studio, and, um, and it, I've only got a rough cut to show I don't have a fine cut yet and um, I'm hoping it will be here at Imaginative next year. Awesome. That's so exciting. Yeah. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and your production company online? Well, my company name is Coptor, C-O-P-T-O-R. We have two Aboriginal companies, Stonecast Pictures, where we're just finishing a six-part documentary series for APTN, hosted by Adam Beach, called Catch the Dream Bios. The other company we have with Jim Com Compton is Wabunganung Film, and that's the uh, company that we're doing the Gahawi project with currently. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and have an amazing time here at the Imaginative. Thanks very much, thank Katie. You. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Imaginative Film Festival in downtown Toronto.